Hey what's up guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. So today in this video, we will discuss about some of the features that you might be missing out with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra or that might be hidden for you. So if you are bored with this old looking lock screen and always on display mode, so now you can customize it. To customize it further than the limitations of your settings, you can download the GoodLock application from the Galaxy Store app. And after downloading the GoodLock application, you just have to launch it. And now you just have to download this app called Clockface. Using this application, you can customize your lock screen and the always on display mode of your device. And after downloading this clock face application, you just have to launch it and as you can see over here, there are multiple options of fonts of the clock designs to choose from. As you can see over here, I will now randomly select a clock face and now you just have to click on tick mark. And that's it, now you can relocate your clock or you can enlarge or small it. You can further customize it the way you like it. And after you have selected the position of the clock, you just have to select done. By the way, if you are new on this channel, make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section that have you got the One UI 6.1 update or not yet. And as you can see over here, the always on display mode has been changed as well. So you can select the clock design font of your choice and then you can further customize that as well. So do check this out if you are bored with your old fonts. And after selecting, you just have to click on done and that's it. Changes will be applied to your lock screen and walls on display mode. Next up, in the good lock application, you just have to go to life up and swipe down and search for this application called registrar. Using this application, you can change the order, hide, manage groups and there are multiple other features unlocked with this application like long pressing the side key or double tapping the back of your phone to do some task. And now as you can see over here, it is a 32 MB of application and depending on your internet speed, it will download accordingly. And when the download is complete, you just have to click on this application to launch it. As you can see over here, after launching the application, you will get to see these options. As you can see over here, there are multiple settings now available with this application. And now let's start with the back tap action. To turn it on, you just have to go to the back tap and from here, you just have to select double tap and now you can select the task you want to perform. I have selected show notifications. So now whenever I will back tap on my device, it will show me the notifications. As you can see over here, on back tapping, it shows me the notifications. There are other options as well like going to the recent apps or going to the camera. Or you can select to open another app as well. Also you can change the intensity of the double tap as well from here, as you can see. And if you want to turn it off, you just have to click on this on off button to turn it off on on. And now next we have this side key press hold function. Now you can remap your power button to do some tasks. If you long press your power button, as you can see, I have selected to turn the flashlight on. Now whenever I will long press my power button, it will turn on or off the flashlight. There are multiple other options as well to choose from and if you want to turn on or off, you just have to select turn on or off. By the way, if you want to check out the camera tips and tricks of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, the link will be in the description for that. Now if you go to the search options, you just have to select allow creation of a shortcut. And now if you will go to the settings and search for any settings like wallpaper over here and then long press it, you can add a icon on the home screen as you can see over here the icon has been added and now whenever i will click on this icon it will directly make me go to the desired settings where i have selected it or you can select multiple other options as well as you can see over here by the way are you facing some battery drain issues after the one year 6 update let me know in the comment section about that now I will quickly add another shortcut for an example. For example, for the active brightness, I just have to long press and it will add a shortcut for me. As you can see over here, if I select that shortcut, it will take me to that settings. 
and that's it for today's video if you are new on this channel make sure to like and subscribe and if you want to get some information about the one year 7 update the link will be in the description for that so do check that out